guys Jacob from Igo Tech here and today I'll be showing you guys showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.0.1 now this will be a tether jailbreak for the iPhone 4 iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 3G um, some things you guys will need you guys will need red snow and the IPSW I will leave all of that and uh, more in-depth guides down below so let's get started just to sh prove that I am on iOS 6. Here we are guys, just to prove that I'm on iOS 6. Oh, wrong place. There we go. I am on iOS 6.0.1. Um, you guys will need Red Snow. This, this Red Snow um, is the latest. I believe it's 0 0.9.5. 15 beta 3 so uh, let's go back to head over back to the computer so guys when you do download red snow on your computer you guys will need to run it as administrator um, so it, it's not affected by anything give that a second there we go there you go it says welcome this is the latest version of red snow now uh, if you guys do not know this is a tethered so you guys will need to put this into dfu mode uh, each time you want to go turn it on and you have to hook it up to the computer um, i will be showing you guys how to put in dfu mode and how to boot tethered again so let's go back to the phone all right guys so how to put in dfu mode what you guys will need to do is to put is to hold down the power and home button for roughly 15 seconds and hold the home button for 10 seconds till you hear a response from your computer. So let's just go ahead and put this into DFU mode first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 let go hold home oh sorry about that guys <clears throat> just continue holding home uh, if you guys do face any difficulties like i did uh, just go ahead and do the process again now going back to the computer that is in dfu mode you guys should hear a response and this notification down below saying that is connected in dfu mode now uh, the next step you guys will need to do you guys must download an ipsw uh, i suggest downloading it from felixbruns.de or the i download blogs uh, download page so i'll show you guys uh, what the ipsw would look like There you go, you should get something like that. Now let's go ahead and um, do the perform the next step. All right, so what you wanna do is go through extras. You guys wanna go through select IPSW. You guys wanna find it. Now I suggest saving it on the desktop so it's a bit easier. You guys wanna hit open, there you go. Uh, it says successfully identified. Uh, it will use it will be used for the rest of this Red Snow session. So what you guys want to do now is go through jailbreak. Since we already put it into DFU mode, you guys do not need to follow the directions that's given. Uh, it might not even give you that prompt. Uh, it will probably just give you this: preparing jailbreak data, patching kernel. This does take a bit of a time. Um, doesn't take that long depending on your computer and or connection. Uh, so there you go. You should get something like this. Uh, it's going to be asking for some options. You guys can install Cydia, install custom bundles, add activation ticket, or deactivate. I suggest just sticking to Cydia if you don't, if you're a uh, Noviance user. But if you're an advanced user, go ahead and you guys can tinker with those. So guys, what we want to do now is just hit next. Now it's exploiting. All right, so now it's just uploading. <clears throat> now I'm going to bring you to the iPhone. 
so guys it just finished up um, you guys should get something like this the matrix code running down do not be afraid if you're a uh, new user this is perfectly fine this runs every single time you do jailbreak using the red snow tool um, if you're an advanced user I don't even need to explain this but yeah on your computer it just says that you know you're now need to uh, boot tethered um, I'll be showing you guys once I'm able to access my uh, home screen you guys will be able to jump into your uh, phone but you guys will not get access to certain applications I believe you guys don't get access to mail and Safari and a couple more and you guys will not have Cydia um, shown up on the phone yet that's why you guys need to perform the just boot tethered um, so now let's just head over to the computer so guys um, you guys will need to run the same step with selecting the IPSW let's just run through that uh, we can do this while the phone is just still turning on so you guys want to browse for your IPSW if you have it saved on your desktop go ahead and open it it will successfully identify it just hit OK now you guys will need to put your phone back into DFU mode now if we go over to the phone you'll find that your phone is now jailbroken but it does not have Cydia uh, over here yet what you guys will need to do is the DFU so let's go ahead and put that phone into DFU mode again uh, I will not be counting just for the sake of uh, my voice I am a bit sick sorry about that guys I just caught a cold from school and here we go there you go you should hear that notification from your computer if you do have your volume on on the computer now let's head over back to the computer all right guys so if you're still on this page you want to go through the just boot and let that do its work it does give you some options down below to auto boot this device when it connects in DFU mode uh, or do this for all Lyrem devices. Uh, if you're an advanced user, go ahead and you can mess with those. Uh, but if you're a novice, we will not be using that in this video. Let's head over back to the phone. So guys, back to the phone. Uh, the computer prompted me that it is already done. The process is now taking place on your device. So you guys should get this pineapple everything is fine from here on out and just to prove it to you guys I'll wait for this to finish and I'll show you that Cydia does work on the uh, iPhone 4 so guys now it's the moment of truth I have just unlocked my phone and here we go there you go you do have Cydia let's jump right into it preparing file system I will come back when that is finished all right guys so the device has just respring jump back into Cydia and there you go who you are let's say I am a developer and done and there you have it guys it is now jailbroken you guys do have full access to Cydia uh, I would like to thank pod props for giving me this um, the stand that I can use for all my videos you can find them right there podprops.com go check out this product is really amazing uh, if you guys found this video really helpful please do hit the like button down below and if you guys are even uh, more willing please do hit that subscribe button right up there would help me a lot um, help boost up my channel uh, I'm kind of needing it right now and uh, yeah so guys, this has been this jailbreak tutorial for iOS 6.0.1, and this has been Jacob from iGorilla Tech here, signing off.